Hey there, Jed Coburn is here with the Exercise Physiology Show. This is episode number 33, <clears throat> um, which is really crazy to me because I figured I wouldn't make it past two. <laughs> um, but people, you know, you guys are watching this and I appreciate you. I'm a former fat kid. Um, I'm former fat adult, not like crazy fat, but fat enough to be like, okay, I gotta figure this out. <clears throat> I have an exercise science degree, bachelor's degree in exercise science, a um, few certifications, what have you, but I feel like I'm just one big filter for the crap that's out there on the internet. That's kind of what I'm bringing to you today. Um, hopefully every episode that's what I'll do is just filter out some of the stuff that's on the internet some of the, some of the questions people have uh, bring information uh, about what is coming out what's happening so yeah um, today I would I'm gonna bring this to the table okay I'm gonna bring a little bit of mindset to the table instead of some cold hard facts because mindset is what you want it to be it can be in your mind it can be in your beliefs <clears throat> but talking with um, some friends last night and really comes down to this do you have enough faith or do you have enough guts to follow your dreams right do you have it, I put it, how my friend put it, having enough faith to follow your dreams, Esther Robinson, right? I would appreciate her saying that. That was a big one for me because um, it comes down to this. It comes down to what do you want in your life? You only get one shot. You only get one chance. You only get one day, um, you know, one day at a time. What do you want to do with it? And how do you figure it out? How do you really understand your purpose? How do you know your purpose? Well, it's all about asking the right questions. <clears throat> asking yourself the right questions, asking um, your higher power the right questions, and asking for guidance. And I recently, you know, found what is working for me, for people, for the people that I help. Um, and it, and it's, it has to do a lot with CrossFit, which is really funny. Um, CrossFit is basically functional training, but you're loaded, like loaded meaning you put weight on your body. Um, whether that's putting weight, you know, on a barbell and throwing the, the Olympic weights on there and, you know, doing some deadlifts, some snatch, some power cleans, some, you know, some de just jump squats, just squats to pull-ups to whatever it is. But essentially that's what I do with the daily wads, right? Except we don't add any weight, it's just all body weight. And anybody can do it. And anybody can do CrossFit. I mean, I'm swearing it. I mean, I watched this, uh, like I think we talked about it, I watched this thing on 60 Minutes on Sunday night, and it was all about CrossFit. The, the, the creator of CrossFit recommends like a 60 or a 76 year old woman do a deadlift, which is awesome. Like it, it's crazy to me to think that, well, and this guy, like this is where I get this from, would be, you know, if a 76 year old woman dropped a pen, it's crazy to me to think that she wouldn't pick it up. Well, that's a deadlift, right? Doing it in the proper technique is healthy. So that's where my dreams and visions come from is getting people to know that or having people know that is having that having that uh, belief in themselves that they can do that. So if you noticed yesterday, I created a GoFundMe campaign. Um, that's what I'm. That's what I'm going for. I'm going for everything. I'm going for it all. It is my dream to own my own gym. It is my dream to help police. Uh, it is my purpose to help people believe in themselves again, 
so that's what it is. I'm bringing it to the table. I'm putting all chips in on myself to say, I can do this. And then we're gonna, you know, we wanna live in a certain town and that will happen too. Um, so there it is. I mean, that is knowing, right? And how did I get to this point? It takes time. It takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of effort and it takes a lot of the unknown, right? The unknown is still there, but at least now I have somewhat of a path and I know this is the right path um, because, I mean, because it just hit, it hits you like a ton of bricks. And last night came up with the name of Willing Belief CrossFit, right? Because what do I always say? I say if you're willing to change from the neck up, you will change from the neck down. Completely makes sense. And there's this Willing Belief CrossFit. Holy moly. That's what I'm going to call it. That's what we're going to do. Because if you are willing to believe, you will. Right? I mean, that's it. You will. <laughs> so, what are your beliefs? What are your dreams? What do you have? Right? I mean, that's what it comes down to. I, have, I count my blessings every day. I'm counting everything that I have because that's what it is and being grateful for just that so how how do you get to a point where you know and you're sure you're doing the right thing at the right time and, and being in the right place ask the right questions asking yourself who do I need to be right who do I need to be the owner of Willing Belief CrossFit in Hutchinson, Minnesota. I ask myself that every day and I think, I think, just started this morning, right? I thank, you know, my higher power, the universe, everything, everybody for that happening. Because if you think it's already happening, if you are thanking, like like I said, thank you, right? Thank you for Willing Belief CrossFit. Thank you for the means for me to help people who don't believe they can beat obesity. And thank you for the belief in myself that I can help them believe again. Right? And then it's already done. Like, if it's already done in your own self con um, you know, subconscious then it's already going to start happening like it's already start manifesting itself right like I would have never thought that if people would share anything that I'm doing yeah, especially on Facebook um, I would never imagine that people would like or comment on anything that I'm doing but they are and I'm grateful for that So that's what it is, it's finding that place where you know you have it, where you know you know what you're doing. You know that what, in and you know what you're doing is right. So I challenge you today to ask the questions and to dare to dream. I dare you to have enough faith, have enough guts to follow that dream to pursue it. There's that steering wheel. <laughs> um, but that's, that's my challenge for you today. I would love to know what your dreams are. I would love to know <clears throat> what your purpose is. So that's the comment for today. I would love to hear it. I would love to know what it is. You want to make a video of what your comments are, what your uh, dreams are. I'd love to hear it. Post it on, the, uh, on my public figure page. I'll watch it love to hear from you. If you are willing to change from the neck up, you will change from the neck down. Have a great day. Believe in yourself. You have to know by now. I do. Bye for now.